Yeah, too special. Yeah. Pure deliciousness. Pure deliciousness, man. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Hello out there, everybody, man. How y'all doing out there, man? I'd like to welcome y'all to 2021. This is going to be my first cooking episode I put on 2021. I was in here by myself on this Sunday, and I was getting ready to fix me some lunch. So I got everything prepped. What I was getting ready to do is one of the meals I usually make in there. And then I decided, I said, well, let me go ahead on and try to film this. So I'm going to go ahead and try to film this for you and just put this together right fast and show you what this uh one of these meals i used to eat in there man it used to be like my seafood flatbed and i used to make it man it was real good and i used to make it sometimes man like at lunchtime man and i'll eat half and then i'll eat half later on so it would be my whole day meal man but it's delicious i'm getting ready to show y'all some of the the uh, ingredients i use to make it you probably can make this at home it doesn't take that long man it's nice and it's this delicious meal you will love it so right now what I'm doing is prepping and what I'm prepping is this. These are my vegetables. As y'all know, I always use my vegetables, all my different types of peppers and stuff. You see, I got all of these onions, green pepper, you know, the uh, yellow pepper, the uh, yellow pepper, the orange pepper, the red pepper. I got it already chopped up and prepped because I'm going to use that. I got my water boiling right here on the stove because I'm going to use this water that's boiling. I'm going to use that as well. So we go over here to the table. We got my trusty cheese puffs. Always good to make meals. I'm going to show y'all what this do. This make miracles. We got my baby clams. I told y'all this is going to be a seafood. We got my baby clams. We got my oysters. You know, we got my mackerel and uh, olive oil. We got my pickles. We got my sharp cheese with cheese spread got my sugar twins you know you can't make no prison meal without noodles so we're gonna use chicken because we're going with seafood and you know we got uh chips you know a meal is never complete unless you got chips and i got my seasoning up here all of my little seasonings man all of them get all of these seasonings i use man depends on which one i'm gonna use but i got all of them up in there so, you know, this is what we're going to do. We're getting ready to put this meal together for y'all, man. It's going to be a delicious meal. I just wanted to give y'all a little idea, get it prepped, because like I said, I wasn't going to do this, but I decided to go ahead and throw it together for y'all. See how y'all like it. If you do like it, man, you know, you leave your comments and everything, and we're going to do more bigger cooking videos in 2021. We're going to be cooking with Banky Pound all 2021. I promise you that. So... Right now, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead on and start getting some of this stuff together because I've already made the prep. So the first thing we're going to do is this. I'm, uh, I'm going to use these gloves because, you know, it's cleanly. We ain't got the COVID going on out here. Plus, you know, when you ain't cooking for yourself, you got to be mindful of everybody else that's going to be eating with you. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these gloves on. And, uh... Start prepping this food, man. This is a quick meal. It don't take long, but it tastes delicious. All right, first thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go ahead and put this together first. So y'all follow me right up in here while I do this. See this, uh, these is the oysters right here. See, this oysters got this oil in it, man. This oil is perfect for cooking, man. It is perfect for cooking. It makes, it makes it stuff, man, especially when you're using the microwave. It makes it, uh, it's like flavor it, man. It gives it like the grease and stuff that we don't have, you know. And this right here, man, this was essential in prison, man. Because what we do is, when we got that, we would keep this. And we would use this to cut up our vegetables. Because we didn't have knives and stuff. So we would use this to cut up our vegetables and, you know, cut up cheese and blocks of cheese and all of that type of stuff. So that was very, very useful in there, man. So that's what we used to use that for. All right, so we put that in there. We're going to open these uh, mackerel. We ain't had this can in there, so I don't even know how to open this one. 
Hopefully I'm doing it right. Okay, this is just a peel. All right, which also got that good oil in there. We want all of that. We want all of that. We want none of that to get nowhere. I'm gonna throw that up in there. Alright. Mix it up. Now if you're a seafood buff, man, you probably ain't had some of these different ingredients right here, because you know y'all eat a little different out here. But trust me when I tell you, man, we own the uh, we own the something right here, man. This stuff is magnificent. You can sell this in any seafood store and get you a show shot hit. I guarantee you that. But not this, because this is my recipe. So don't try to steal it. Don't you try to steal it. You can use it, but you can't have it. All right, here we go with these uh, baby clams, man. We throw them in the mix. Wish we had this one in there. This is a lot more than what we got. And a lot cheaper. So we're going to mix that up. Nice and mixed up up in here. The flavors of this stuff being mixed up together, man, is it's unexplainable. You won't have to try it at home. You won't have to try it for yourself. All right, we get that done like that. So what I usually do then, man, I always put a little seasoning with my food, man. So I start out with the garlic. Put a little garlic up in there. Get a little garlic up in there. We definitely ain't had no lemon pepper, but being that I got it out here, you know, one of the uh, perks of being out here in this good free world y'all got, you know. So we're going to use a little bit of that. Uh, I'm going to try a little obey in there. Since I've been out here, this has been one of my favorite seasonings. Uh, we didn't get it in there. Every now and then we could if we went through a uh, holiday pack or something, got lucky or something, got a holiday pack. So uh, we got that prep, man, and uh, go over here. And what we do is put some of these good vegetables up in here with it so all the stuff can marinate and cook. So we're going to put some green peppers up in there. We're going to put some of them red peppers up in there. We're going to put some of them yellows, orange. Might be colorblind, which is a good thing to be. And put those up in there. Don't this stuff look colorful and nice, man? And you always got to have them onions. Show shot hit with them. Show shot hit with them onions. All right, we're going to get all that up in there. All right? See that up in there? Get up in there on that nice and close. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to mix that stuff up. Yeah, see that? That stuff nice and mixed up up in there. Mm-hmm. Now we let it set for a little while and marinate. Look at that stuff, man. Come on there. We're gonna let this set and marinate while we're gonna move on to another part of this uh Another part of this great invention, we get ready to come up with right. We're gonna open these cheese puffs, right? And uh, I think we're gonna have to use that bag. We usually do so. We use these old chili chip bags. Like I said, y'all can see, I just don't be talking chips. I eat chips. I eat them. That's why I got empty bags. I eat chips. Yes, and I eat little boosted chips too. They good. Go out there and try some. It's a little plug for a little boozy boozy. You can send me a check if you want to. I ain't be mad at you. Yeah, so what we do is we use these cheese puffs in there, man, for a lot of things. So I'm gonna uh, try to put a few of them up in here. Them up in there. I might just want to use that big bag anyway, so 
we take these cheese puffs right on out till we get to the limit of what we need to use. Becomes the base, the flat base of what we're gonna make this foundation of our uh, deliciousness of. So that's why we crush up these cheese. I don't know what it is that they got in them, but man, I'm telling you, once we found out about these, they hold everything together. We make dough with these, man. We make uh, burritos. Uh, dudes make tater chips with these. They take these, man, and make their own tortillas. And, all types of stuff with this, this uh, cheese puff, man. So needless to say, this is a big seller up in there. All right, I'm make sure they all crushed up. Make sure they all crushed up, we are decent. All right, when we show, we got them crushed up enough. This is what you want to look like. See that? You want to get it up like that there. Get that crushed up. So, that's why you always keep your extra tater chip bags, especially when you're in there, because you never know what you may use tater chip bags for in there, because you don't get no whole lot of bowls and all of that type of stuff in there. So, uh, we always got to make use of what we had. Um, I tell a lot of people out here, I tell a lot of people out here all the time, a lot of people in my, in my family and in my life, they, man, they waste more stuff in here than a little bit. Throw so much stuff away, man, in prison, you ain't hardly got nothing. So you utilize everything you got until it's gone. So we take these suits and we're going to put them up in here as well. For this meal, I'm going to use four. I'm going to use four suits because it's about, it's about three of us are probably going to be eating this. And uh, I'm gonna put these up in here. So it'll be nice and thick. Make sure that everybody get full. How y'all doing out there in 2021, man? How's it going for y'all so far? You know, leave it in the comments for me. Let me know. Let me know y'all out there enjoying yourself in 2021 already spreading this positivity that we got to spread because uh we definitely only missing in 2021 we only missing to spread pure positivity by any means necessary so what we're gonna do now we're gonna put these seasons in here in the bag you put them right in the bag I know all y'all ain't used to cooking in bags and all of that stuff, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. And trust me, the end result, you ain't be mad. Taste this one time, man, you be running to the store so fast to get chip bags and, and horses and mackerel and all, you be, oh my god. Man, what did Bangy put us on to right here? Yeah, that's what I did. All right, then look, I used both of them. And uh, I'm going to go ahead on. And you take the last one. You use half of it. And you say the other half, that'll come into play a little late. I got to have it always cleaning up as I go. Some people usually cook and then just go do it later, but I try to keep my, my cooking area clean so I can do what I gotta do. All right, let me take that and mix it up with a piece. Shake and bake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
shake that up, get that nice and deep. That's when you always go back to your garlic. You got to have that garlic, man. And you know, I had high blood pressure, still got high blood pressure, I believe. Maybe not, I ain't checked it lately, but garlic is a, uh, I was always told it's good for your blood pressure. You use that, I use that instead of pure salt. And they say it's better for your blood pressure, it's better for you all the way around. So that's what I always use in my cooking. All right, shake that up a little bit more, right? Now, this is what we do. This is what I got this towel for. We usually bring one of these down there too. And we had this because stuff get hot and we use that to touch it. All right, we go back over here to this boiling water. The reason why we had this boiling water was we will need boiling water to cook this stuff here. So, we get this boiling water, which is super hot, which is what we need it to be. Oh yeah, it's nice and hot. All right, so. Hold that like that so you won't feel the heat. And you gotta take that water and put it in there. But, can't put too much, can't put too less. You gotta be able to judge. You don't want it real soggy, soggy wet. You want it where it's just enough where when it starts to sucking up all of the stuff, it's gonna be able to stick together. It's gonna be nice and give you a decent texture. See like right now, it's starting to give you what you want. But when you see I need a little bit more water in there. So I'm gonna put some more in there. And I'm gonna start mixing it up some more. And see, I can feel it in the bag, so I think I may have enough. I'm just making sure I mix it all up, get the flavors and everything twisting up in here. Gotta be careful because sometimes the bag will bust on you. We gonna pray it don't bust because we ain't got another one. Right now we just mixing it up. See what's going on. Alright, I think we got what we want to have. You see that? Hey, I know you wish you could smell it. It smells delicious. We're gonna work on that smell cam in 2021 too, man. It's a brilliant idea. It's a, it's a get rich idea. Alright, so we're gonna cover that up and let that marinate for a minute. Again, we're gonna clean up our area. Get rid of that, and we go on to the next stage. Okay, like I say, we utilize everything in there. We don't throw stuff away, so I kept this for a reason as well. Cause I still got to, uh, still got to cut up this pickle. So, as I told y'all many times, I don't use a lot of pickle, but when I do. Um, it is a good way to cook. It does a lot of things. So, and it gives a lot of flavor to your food. So we're gonna cut this up. smaller one. We had it in a smaller tub, but we had almost the exact same thing. So, that comes in real handy too, because we use this for a lot of things. But what I'm going to use this for is to make a, uh, to make my famous cheese spread. Y'all have seen me make this before. 
on cooking videos uh, on my own and over there after prison show. Shout out Joe after prison show. We should be doing some type of uh, cooking together real soon too. So we put that in there. We put that cheese in there. We're going to try to use some of this pickle juice. Use some of that pickle juice. Get that in there. We mix that up. Mix it up. Get it nice. Thick up in here. Let's put a little bit more. That in there. Alright. When I tell you the season, take that season. Put a little bit of that in there. Take that garlic. Put a little bit of that in there. And we take these good old sugar twins. I told y'all before. Y'all probably say, how you put sugar in that? Because sugar heightens the flavor of anything that's already in there. It enhances it. Now, until you taste this, don't you knock it. I mix it up, and what I do is, I throw it in the microwave to break it down even more and get the flavors to be nice and mixed up. So this is going in the microwave for maybe 45 seconds and um, what we're doing there we are once again clean up our area so we halfway done we halfway done here all right start moving some of this stuff out of the way yeah let's see what's working with Yes. So, who out there cooking today? Y'all don't cook no more, or everybody just go to the restaurant. Everybody just eating fast food. We supposed to be getting healthy. Healthy in 2021. So we're gonna have to start doing some home cooking. We're gonna have to start doing some home cooking to get back healthy. Now, as y'all can see, I got old school for y'all. I had to make this for the microwave. It's the same thing we use on the inside. Ain't nothing but a piece of cardboard, but it's made to fit in the microwave as a board. So we used to call it a piece of board. We used to make that so we could pick things up and put it in back and forth in the microwave because we did we wasn't able to get those type of things. So we had to make these type of things. So that's what this is for. All right, now we test this and see what's going on. Look like she might be right. Make sure. Then we have to start flattening this out. It's nice and hot too. You still feel the heat. And you wanna make sure you don't wanna make it too big bigger than your board. Put it here and work with what you got right here like this. 